Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our blog, Excel-DashboardTemplates.com, so that you're sure to get the latest Excel dashboarding techniques for your company charts. Okay, so uh, today we're going to visit a common problem that most people have, and that has to do with copying a chart uh, and setting it up with a new series of data. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, if you come in here and most users are going to want to make a copy of this chart and they're going to select the range of the chart including the data set that it's related to they're going to click on copy and come over and click into a new cell and hit paste uh, and it looks like they have an identical copy of their chart they go in and they try and change some values and nothing's happening why is nothing happening? well let's go ahead and take a look we look at and click on the chart you'll see that it's still related to the original uh, data set so if we end up changing a uh, value in the original data set to say 11 uh, and 12 it's changing both charts so it's not ideal it's not what we thought it would do we thought I could make a copy of it and uh, have the values uh, come to a new space so let me show you how we go about making a copy of the chart uh, quickest and easiest way that I know of. Uh, what you want to do is instead of highlighting the range and copying, what we want to do is we want to copy the whole worksheet. So this original chart worksheet, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go up to the move or copy uh, part of the menu and click on that. Uh, and then right down here it says create a copy. So I'm going to click create a copy. Now I can do this uh, either to a whole new book um, or I can just make a copy in my original book and uh, I click on OK. You see here's the original chart too. Uh, and what we're going to do is uh, change one of these values here. So 11. Uh, and we'll make this one 19. So we have that. And if we go back to the original chart, you'll notice it has not changed. We can change this to 1 and 1. And uh, it's changing and it is not changing or affecting our new chart. So, kind of simple and easy, but uh, very difficult to understand why Excel was doing that. You think if you could just copy the range, uh, why would I want another chart that uses the same data set? Not quite sure why they did that, but that's a, a simple way around it. Just right click on your worksheet, move or copy it, and then create a copy. Move it to a whole new workbook, move it within the same workbook, and your chart will now have, as we click on the new chart, uh, you'll notice the chart is now associated with the new range of values, not the old range of values. So I was ho hope that was helpful. Uh, once again, this is Steve equals true. Uh, please visit ExcelDashboardTemplates.com so that you can learn more about Excel. Thank you and have a great day.